What is up, y'all? It is your boy Zay back again with another unboxing video. I got two unboxing videos for you guys today. Um, so I'm gonna keep y'all updated right now in this video. I was originally as planned going to post this on my community tab that I know I said like weeks ago that uh once Despicable Me 4 comes out on physical media, I would give y'all what y'all voted in the um Universal versus or I think it was what did I say? I think I said Paramount or Disney or something. Y'all y'all voted for the Universal collection. So that video is not gonna be uploaded uploaded today, but most likely uh either tomorrow or later um uh, later in the week or early next week, if anything. So I just wanted to get that off my chest. The Universal Collection video will be coming either tomorrow, later down this week, or early as possible next week. So, yeah. So, uh, today came out two things. Despicable Me 4 on uh, physical media and uh, Epic Mickey Rebrushed. I got the PS5 version. So, here, uh, here, so here we got... Dis the 4K release of uh, Despicable Me 4. Hold up, let me turn off my flashlight, actually. There we go. So we got the 4K release of uh, Despicable Me 4. And this is funny, because uh, they never released a 4K, any type of 4K release for the Garfield movie. Only DVD and Blu-ray options were available for that movie. Um, I picked up the Blu-ray, of course. Um... Inside Out 2 did have a physical release, but it was a steelbook. But when it came to, like, the regular standard releases, they only had the Blu-ray and the DVDs, and I bought the Blu-ray. So, this time I went and bought the 4K, the standard 4K with uh, Despicable Me 4. So, I'm glad I have this, because I haven't bought a 4K for a movie in since... Uh, Kung Fu Panda 4? Yes, it's Kung Fu Panda 4. Wow. So, uh, I'm very excited to have this on 4K. Because this movie looks absolutely outstanding, man. The animation, they did, Illumination and Universal did some work. <laughs> so, um, I do like this cover too. And it, it was actually the only poster they had for the movie. Besides, you know, obviously the, the IMAX poster. And everything else. This was the literally the for, the first poster for Despicable Me Four that they released. So, and I'm glad that it's a cover. So, here we got a uh, Gru holding <laughs> some sort of like gun. It, it's not the freeze ray. I know that. And then we got uh one of the minions right there, right there. Focus, focus. There we go. Much better. So. And then we got uh, Gru Jr., his actual kid. You know, because he already adopted the three girls, Margot, Edith, and Agnes, um, in the first movie. So, I'm surprised, like, none of those characters are on the poster. I don't know. I, th I think the movie just wanted to only focus on his son, him bonding with his son, which is a thing in the movie, by the way. It's one of the, the plots in the movie, which I don't mind, you know. I don't mind at all. So, um, it's a really nice cover. Like I said, it is embossed. Or like, the whole cover is embossed right here. It's got like a a sticker right here. Is it a sticker? Yeah, it's a sticker. Um, or is it? Hold up. Oh, it's not a sticker, but it is embossed though. It says it includes two mini movies. Okay. Awesome. So, here we got the spine right here. They should have done the spine blue. But I digress. <laughs> but uh, here we got the back. Over 60 minutes of bonus content. And you got the, the five uh, Mega Minions, right? I thought there were five. It only It's only showing four. Yeah, there were five me of the Mega Minions in the movie. And they're only showing four of them. Huh, okay. Yeah, it's the one with uh, the squiggly arms. He's not on the back with the rest of the minion, the mega minions. So, oh well. But 
Uh, we do have bonus features, which includes the two mini movies, Game Over and Over, and Benny's Birthday. Plus, deleted scenes, despicable dialogue, meet the cast, making of Mega Minion Mayhem, Rogue's Gallery, and How to Draw. Okay, it's rated PG. And it is a 2024 release, and it is a 2024 uh, physical release. And where is the... What to call it? Um, <laughs> uh, the runtime. There we go. Where's the runtime? It's probably on the actual back. Yep, it's probably on the back, most likely. But we got some uh, thumbnails from the movie. Maxime Lamal as the villain, <laughs> Will Ferrell, and uh, in the movie, his girlfriend, Valentina, I think that was her name. Yeah, so, really nice, so, I'm really glad to have this, like I said, so let me go ahead and get, uh, you know what, I'm gonna unwrap this without, uh, using one of the scissor pieces. And Walmart only had two of the 4Ks in, so thank God I actually got one. And they, they were both clean, you know, they had no scuff marks or anything, which usually is not the case with Walmart's physical releases, you know. Some of them are dirty, or some of them have, like, scuff marks, but both of them are actually pretty clean. So, that's a plus, right there. Okay, so here we got, uh, I'm gonna set this off in the back. Okay, so here's the actual case. It, uh, it's a lot darker than the slipcover. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but the slipcover is a lot lighter when it comes to color, and this one is uh, darker. The actual case is darker. So, there we go. So, yeah, let me try to find the runtime on this thing. Alright, so it is an hour and 35 minutes long. My camera will focus, please. Thank you. Alright, yep, an hour and 35 minutes. It's not on the back of the... Yeah, it's not on the back of the slipcover. Okay, so... Uh, let's go ahead and... um See what's inside. I will be giving the... What the hell? <laughs> Um, okay, so this is weird. There is no... What the hell? Okay, so this is kind of weird. There is no digital code for this. Like, it comes with the digital code, but... There's no, like, actual code. Like, what the hell? Um, okay, so... But on the back of this, there's like more universal and uh, elimination titles. Let me see. I have all three of these on Blu-ray and 4K. Um, and I got the Rise of Gru only on Blu-ray. So, but that's the back of the digital. So, oops. There's a like. See, if I if I flip it to yeah, there's no there's no code with this it's completely empty so uh that's that really does suck because i did plan on giving a, this code away um okay so that's weird that is weird okay so um i mean it would suck to go buy another one just for the sake of that is so weird. Like, I never encount encountered that situation before. But anyways, here we got the discs right here. So this side, we got the 4K disc with one of the minions. And then we got the Blu-ray disc, which is just plain orange. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this back inside. So, but that is really weird, though. Like, I cannot... Like, I, I'm speechless. Like, I was really going to give away a digital copy for this. Like, the code is there, but it's not there. Like, it's completely empty. So, anyways, moving on. 
So here you got Despicable Me 4 on 4K. And recently I did unbox the, the three movie collection on 4K, which I still have. So I was going to buy both editions for this because, like I said, I had the three of these already on Blu-ray. And uh, the Minions films also on Blu-ray. So I was actually planning to get both, but I just chose to get one because, uh, you know, the, for the most part, Walmart's 4Ks for um, Despicable Me 4 in this case were clean. Like I said, they had two of them in. And they had, like, I think four Blu-rays in. And most of them were, like, damaged. Like, the slipcovers were ripped. So, I was just like, let me not waste money on something damaged. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. There is the Despicable Me franchise all on 4K. It is a bit weird that this one has a slipcover and these ones don't. I mean, it does come with the box, so that's an exception for me. But, um, yeah. You know, like I said, I also have... Um, these on Blu-ray. Let's see. We got all of them right here. We got the first one. Despicable Me 2. Despicable Me 3. Minions and Minions The Rise of Gru. So... I don't know, I just like this franchise. It's stupid, I know, it's very stupid when it comes to the Minions. <laughs> but that, that's, what, that's what they're there for. They're there to make you laugh, they're there to make you feel, like, uh, happy, you know? So, and I also do have, I still do have my ticket for when me and my girlfriend went to go see uh, Despicable Me 4. It is a bit faded. So, but this can now go in here. You know, like I said, man, it really does suck that that space is empty. So, I'm sorry, but looks like there's no digital copy giveaway for this because it's it's empty. So there's nothing I could really do besides maybe um go back to Walmart or whatever. And get another 4K release of this and just uh, see if that little bar thing in the middle of the digital copy is not empty. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing of the 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray plus Digital Code Collector's Edition release of Despicable Me 4. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.